Hey guys, my name is Marvin, and this is the story how I got scuba certified. Getting scuba diving certified has always been a bucket list item for me, and I think the main motivator for me to finally take the classes was that I'm going to Hawaii in about six months. After signing up for lessons, the first part that I needed to complete were the online certification. So that included lots of reading, lots of videos, taking a lot of notes, and taking quizzes every section. I completed the certifications, so that's great. And now comes weekend one, where I do in-person lessons and we do some pool training. I'll see you guys soon. Good morning. It is a super cloudy day in Monterey, but we are ready for day one of scuba diving lessons. You're here and we're ready to learn. Hopefully I'm like one of these guys next week. And we'll be going out in the water. Here's a list for you and your buddy to do before each dive. B stands for buoyancy control device. Check that everything is connected and that you can inflate and deflate the vest. W stands for weight. The weight should be secure in your weight belt. R stands for release. You should know where the straps are and how to release them in an emergency. A stands for air. You should make sure your cylinder is open, breathe through your regulator, and check the monitor gauge. F stands for final check. Gather all your gear, secure loose objects, and do a head-to-toe check. So we are done with day one. They taught us how to set up and take down the BCD, uh, let us borrow the wetsuits and buy our own personal gear, and we are ready for day two at the pool tomorrow. Today marks day two of scuba diving training. We are currently at a gym and we're gonna be using their pool to learn some water skills. I spent the whole day in the swimming pool learning a lot of different techniques. I thought it was really fun just being able to breathe underwater in, with the regulator and just kind of explore and just chill out there for minutes on end if not longer. I was able to take some cool shots on my GoPro until the instructor confiscated it, probably because I was trying to multitask as he was teaching lessons. Hey guys, welcome back. We made it to Monterey for lesson number three. We're gonna be taking this lesson in the open water in the ocean over here. Um, looking forward to actually trying some of the skills we learned a few weeks ago in the open water. So we just finished two dives and it's now our lunch break. We were out there in the ocean and I think we went about 25 feet deep. We ascended, descended a couple times, did a couple skills. I thought I was going to be really anxious just being that deep in the water, but surprisingly it wasn't that scary. It was a really pleasant experience. Very cold, but overall it was really solid and I actually enjoyed it a lot. It was very cool exploring the bottom of the ocean. Welcome to day four. We're gonna get in our fourth dive today and we're hopefully gonna be able to do a free dive afterwards. And by the end of today, I should be scuba certified. Stay tuned. The last dive we did was really cool. We had a couple more tests to do, some navigation skills, um, but it was so cool. We went down to nearly 45 feet. Uh, we saw a lot of really cool fish, a lot of starfish just littered all over the bottom floor. And just like that, we are now scuba certified. I'm excited. We have one more dive today, later, 
uh, and I'm gonna bring my GoPro and try to bring you guys along too. And just like that, we are done with our first weekend of scuba diving. We did five dives this weekend. Um, and this last dive we did, we were able to go 40 feet. We were able to see a bunch of starfish, a lot of really cool fish. See some really cool like kelp for us also. Um, overall, such a positive experience. And I really love my experience here in the Monterey Bay scuba lessons. Would recommend. Thanks you guys for tuning in. Catch you in the next one.